Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Portland Snowhawks franchise. We are here in week 11 to come off a very entertaining game. Probably about my, my most entertaining game of this series out of any video I've recorded in Portland Snowhawks franchise. We are in week 11 going against the Patriots. They're like, what, 2 and 5? 5 and 4. We're 4 and 5. Like I said, we'd rather lose out this series, but, you know, I still want good gameplay. Speaking of good gameplay, I think I'm putting out uh, some decent content lately. Just decent. Last week, we did win a player of the week in Brian Poole. Had six tackles. Probably tackle for loss somewhere in there. Two in toes, and one of them was for a pick six. A game-winning pick six, I might add. So, Brian Poole is playing well. We also have a breakout player. I wonder who this could be. And it is the guy who I can't say his name. So he needs hold the Patriot less than 200 yards, which could be possible. Or get him two intos, two tackles lost, two forced fumbles, and sacks. I always say it like backwards. I don't know why. Darren Lee, a right outside linebacker, who's mainly a blitzer. Obviously, turning to a coverage guy is going to take a lot of work. But will it? Nah, you're about to get that block shut up right now, actually. We should have a 73 overall. Do we actually get that block shutting up? We actually do a plus two to block shut. So that puts you in the 70s, I think it said. Yeah, 71 block shut now. And Donald Payne, we kind of use you as a cover guy. Like, kind of, because your cover's not that bad. You're a decent speed. But once again, I think you're better for... I don't know. You seem like you're better pursuing because you do have 85 hit power and stuff. So you could be like a blitzing middle linebacker. Who's going to go... Should I go? No, I'm just going to scheme fit. Field general. And plus one is zone awareness and pursuit. Also tackle. Not bad. And Chris Godwin. We're just not that good with receivers because we can't really hit them in the way we want to hit them. A little annoying. He has 99 catching, though, but I want to get that speed up, and I really don't know how I would do that. Reach a 94 overall, and you get plus 3 to your release. What's your release on that? 97 release. You should beat guys. You're not, like, super fast. 92 speed is still good, but just not super fast. I'm going to change some abilities. You're still not revealed, bro. Oh my god, probably after this game. I'm gonna go deep route. So I went route printers, uh deep route deep out elite. Um I think they go hand in hand. And we're gonna change for C D Lamb too. I think you already have route printers. You do not. You have wide receiver printers. You're mainly gonna be lined up with wide receiver, but I'd rather have route printers for you. So I'm gonna put that. And also Deep Out Elite would shoot too. I mean I might as well, right? So we did that, and I think that's all we have to change. Again, this game against the Patriots, check out their team a little bit. And hopefully it's a good game. Because if I don't win this game, that means I lost, like, it is a week straight of losing. <laughs> I lost in, uh, I was a Jaguars franchise. I lost in Chargers franchise. I lost in the Warriors franchise. And now I'm losing here. That's just a week straight of L's. That's not cool. So they have Nick Chaw. I remember facing this team. <laughs> oh my God! Just see, as soon as I see Nick Chaw, I was like, "Oh, I already know." Yeah, we're not. Did it say hold them under two hundred passing yards? I don't remember. But if you don't remember what Nick Chubb did to us last time, Nick Chubb could have easily, and I mean, easily, had five hundred yards on us on his own. But I don't know. Our defense is coming off a very, very good game. Like, their best game ever as a team. Um, our middle linebacker is in a dev up scenario, a breakout scenario. He could get to superstar with this, I believe. So, if there's any time to do it, it is right now. Like I said, two tackles for loss, sacks, intos, forced fumbles, or holding them under 200 passing yards. I'm hoping it's 200 passing yards. They are four and five though, or five and four. One of those. So hopefully, I don't know, Nick Trump is not in the game or something. He's hurt. 
And currently, we are in the hunt for a playoff spot. Uh, a lot of four and five teams in the AFC. Um, we would need the Patriots to lose right here. But once again, I'm not really focused on that. I'm not really focused on a playoff spot. So Jerry Goff comes with, come to the field. We know our offense is just not going to be great. It can be, but look at it. Eight touchdowns, 25 interceptions. We'll be lucky to even match touchdowns and interceptions this season, which is just not going to happen. There we go, getting the first down with the run. Not a bad idea to run on second down. Obviously, a lot of people don't like doing it, but, I mean, when it works, it works. I think Josh Gordon could beat someone deep on this. If not, my looks is Chris Godwin or CeeDee Lamb. And just like that, Chris Godwin. I didn't look at anybody else but Chris Godwin. I'm not going to lie. I didn't um, possess and catch. I rat catched it, but I mean, that's a nice way to gain two yards off of nothing, basically. Do we run a screen here? I feel like a screen will be given up, but um, not bad. It's not a bad call. Not a bad call at all. Very good one. And our offense is looking all right. It's not looking crazy good or very dominant. It's looking good enough. All right. Oh, no way he caught that. Yo, that's crazy. What great routes on the field. Good thing I put him on that fucking slant. It was a good defensive play by whoever that DB was. But we end up coming away with it, so. Fuck. Run a version of PA crosses, I guess. I really don't know if it's going to work. Oh, my God. It was it was a really, it was a decent throw. A decent throw. Going to put it through the zip. We had a very, very good drive right there. Um... To throw a little bit more accurate, we come away with six. Seven, obviously. But three is all right. Going to have to come out and play defense. We know Nick Chubb is going to be a problem. Good tackle. Not a first down. It's going to be third down on this one. And I think this is where you send some pressure. Come here. Yup. Oh, yeah. Kalei Hudson coming with the sack that time. Rushed right in. Play action did not fool us. Really good pressure to get in. Had no blockers, nowhere to get in. Or nowhere to get away. And just like that, we have an advantage. Oh, my God. Oh my God, what blocks. Beautiful, very beautiful, nice run. And see what works. If anything gets open. They definitely are blitzing though. Just overthrown, man. I was throwing to X. Just overthrown. I don't really blame Jared Goff on that, but it was overthrown. Feels like a run. And it is. Good tackle. Very good tackle, fellas. And I think I didn't change slider since last week. Not last week. The week before that. Oh, let's go. Defense. Clarence Torrance, who doesn't really get a lot of playing time, but there he made the most of it. Come here with an intel right there. And giving us really good field position. Wow. The ball was so poorly thrown that both of the defender and receivers missed it. Jeez. 
Jesus. I mean, I don't think that's his fault that time, but still, just the throws are off. And we're going to have to take another field goal right here. Accurate kick. Kick is up. Kick is good. It's going to put it six to zip. Early on this third quarter, we... I really don't know, bro. <laughs> but I think the defense is just playing well and the offense is just managing at this point. Another run? And that time nobody almost tackled him. Third and five again. Same situation as last time. And it's going to be short. Garner Minshew not having a good game. Two or four, nine yards uh, into. And now they're punting again. Good catch. Trying to get these receivers involved. What a nice throw. Oh, my God. I thought he overthrew it a little bit. Really good throw to that corner route. Nobody was even on him. There we go. First down. Now we're in scoring threat. I want to run again. I kind of do. I feel like my blocks could pick up here. We don't really, but we did find a little hole. And we're on the two-yard line. Another run could do it right here. Oh, well, I might just go empty. Running is still an option right here. Come on, I'm going to go QB draw. Yeah, just not the call, not the call. I'm still going to go for it. We're on the five. No, we're not because we're kicking. All right. Game said fuck what you want. All right, it's going to be nine. This is it. I'm glad we have a lead, a nine-point lead at that. Another tackle for loss. Is this what I get when we shut down Nick Chubb? Tackle, tackle, we stopped him. All right, another punt, fourth and one from the well, from our 34-yard line. Or there, I don't know. Oh, what a what speed outside! There you go, Trey. I really hope you get revealed this game. You're playing decent. This is an intel. It's not. Oh my god, that linebacker would have reacted even a little bit. That's an intel. All right, that's going to be the two-minute warning right there. It's going to be on field goal range. It's going to be third down, like third and three or something like that, third and five. I need another first down. We might be in field goal range regardless, but, you know, another first down to just be sure. They almost caught that intel, but they don't end up catching the intel. They're going to take a 50-yard field goal. We obviously have the leg for it. We have, what's his name? Corey Bocorquez. Kick actually is a little bit off, but it shouldn't affect us that much. Kick is up. Kick is good. Now we have 12 points off a straight field goal. Nothing else. Just straight field goals. No sack. No, I'm saying no more sack. No safeties. Uh, no touchdowns. None of that. Just straight field goals. And he dropped it. This team is just not it right now, bro. And 
Another <laughs> another ball that's just forced out. Now it's third and ten. They're going to run right here, and it's going to be a what seems like a tackle for loss. That's not a tackle. They're getting a yard. And they're going to run this clock down a little bit. We're going to have about a minute to probably get some more points on the board. They do get ball at half, so it will be smart for us to get points on the board. Come on. There we go. Nice, nice way to get to that ball. Corner our first time out. Uh, Jericho's playing well, but they're just missing some throws. Just, just a little bit of throws. There we go. It's going to be third and what, three, two? Yep, three. You know, this is an easy play. Look, they're blitzing off the left side again, which means the defender's going to the right. It's going to be an easy throw, or it should be an easy throw at least. There we go, and we're on the three. So we don't want to throw an intel here. We don't want anything stupid to happen. So I think I'm just going to run the ball right here. Hopefully they do not shed in. And, uh, you know, if we don't get it, we could spike it. Time out. Uh, just hurry up. He's in. Oh, my God. I saw him struggling to get in there, but we actually finally do get in there. And that puts our lead 18 to zip. Possibly 19 or maybe 20 if we go for two. Yeah, he was just a little struggling a little bit, but he does get enough force to get in there. So we're going to put it 19 to zero. Having one of our best halves yet. Nope. I'm going to leave it 18 because I can't kick. I'm gonna have to go deep. And they don't. They have to get sacked. At least another time. Won't. I think we might be able to get a field goal here. It might be a long one. Yeah, it's going to be a 55-er. So, wow. I don't know if I'm going to show what just happened because they kind of, like, went downfield. Uh, got a three and now. Waste a little bit of time. Kicked the ball to us. We got to around the 20 or 30, I think, because it wasn't a very long kick. And, yeah, we call a play. We had about, like, six seconds. Call a quick play. We saw the catch. And now we're... Gonna be faced with a long field goal. I had to kick it quick. I think I got it. I do. With ease. <laughs> and that puts a 21 zip going up in half. Going into the half. Oh my god. The way how the tables have turned for us. We took one of our worst defeats in franchise history against this team a couple weeks ago. And now we're killing this team. Who would have thought? But it is half, and we know how teams could turn around in a half. We're only up by 21. It's not like we're up by 40 or 50. Only 21 points. That's a three-score game. Oh, my gosh. And just like that, they're in scoring position. We run man defense like one time, and they're in scoring position. Can y'all be on them a little bit more? Nope. Gonna be on the one. It's gonna be third down, right? Gotta run our best defense, which is 60 base. Gotta be prepared for a run. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. And 
He falls forward. I thought he put the knee down before he fell forward. All right. It's only 7 to 21 at this point, right? We gave him a touchdown. That is fine. That is perfectly fine. What we have to do now is score every time. So they score, we score. They score, we score. Even if it's three. Let's not be known as a team that gave a 21-point lead in the second half. I kind of want to run this. This seems like the right thing to do. There we go. That middle linebacker ran in a fucking circle. <laughs> That's so funny to me. What a catch. Nice way to hold on. And Chris Jones is hurt. Great. Maybe I might be to run the ball a little bit more successful here. There we go. As I say that, we just get a nice 10-yard run. 15 for 76 yards. And he's averaging five on the ground, which is wonderful. That's what you want out of running back. At least five. That was a nice try. It's going to be third and seven on this one, obviously. I promise you I did not press that, but whatever. It doesn't even fucking matter. Are they really blitzing? No. Obviously not. And so? Nope. Step out of bounds. Okay, we're going to get three. I could have checked down, but I, it wasn't a guaranteed first down, so I wasn't willing to do that. It's up, and it is good. That's going to put it 24 to 7. Like I said, um, they get the points along, but we need to also capitalize on points and also waste time. I mean, they waste a decent amount of time. It's halfway through this third quarter, and if, we, if they don't strike quick, then I believe we can keep going with this method. Switching the play. And. Oh my god. Is that a safety? It is. <laughs> what a play. Can we take another look at that? <laughs> the defender kept on kicking it. Or the offensive lineman. I believe that's Jeffrey Simmons. Was it Jeffrey Simmons? Yeah, he just got in. It was Jeffrey Simmons. He just manhandled whoever was on him and then took the rest. So, very good in our defense. What is up with our defense as well? Nice, easy throw. Yeah, I says, uh, we're, we're playing really good right now. That's all I got to say. We're just playing really, really well. They're blitzing me. They're blitzing me. I'm wide open. Throw felt like it was a little bit off, but, you know, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take that all day. First down. Let's go. Jericho for a nice day. 19 and 32. Obviously, the passing uh, completion percentage isn't good, but the yards is there. You've seen it. Are we going to get this? Nope. Nope, not at all. Landing Collins is going to come away with the interception. Right when we're having a good drive. I mean, that's his first interception of the day. I'm glad it's coming now.
And another turnover. Oh my god, who was it? Who did the damage? Over the middle. I can't really see who that is. For some reason I feel like it's Clarence um Torrent or Torrent, whatever Torrents. I really have to see who did that. What did I just say? I felt like it was Clarence Torrance. And it was. Wow. I seen someone like run that play in Mutt and it always works for them, and I can't believe that actually worked for me. Easy run. My god, were they prepared for a pass on that one? Just a very easy run. It was an RPO, like a little RPO dump down, but a very easy decision to go in there and get a run. And we are up with our biggest lead of the series, I believe. 32 to 7, 33 to 7 now. We're having a very dominant time, man. Since we caught that into, and well, actually, since we gave it that touchdown, we just have been very dominant. Overall, today we have been very dominant. I, I will admit that. And there is another fumble on the field. And if I had to guess, we're going to stick with the ball. So obviously it's going to be a hold right here. And we're going to come away with the ball again. Now when I say this team is facing some very, very unfortunate mishaps, they're facing some very... I feel like we was going to fall into end zone, but we yeah. didn't. It's going to go into the fourth quarter with this one. And we're in another position to pick up some more points. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. Oh my God, this is wide open. He dropped it. That looked like the... Ultimate play. I want to run that play again. Great, really good throw. Really good throw. I want to throw it to him again to the flat, but that was just wide open. And I think that's our first receiving touchdown of the day. Everything else has been field goals and rushes. I think that's our first receiving touchdown of the day. We have a once again biggest lead. Biggest lead of the series is forty to seven. And he's just backing up and not throwing the ball. Grady Jarrett with the sack that time. Go to the flat and nothing there. Um, in my opinion, kind of have to go for it here. And they do agree. I'm glad they agree with me. They're going deep. We're going to have to make a play. We made a play. We made a very good one. All right. Throw it into. Got to try to make a quick decision, but. All right. We're giving the ball right back. Don't end up with points that time, but. All right. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Put it behind us. I don't think I'm going to get that. Well, I might be able to still get the dev up with him. But they still are under 200 passing yards. It's five to play. They're kind of run like getting us right here. They are going short, though. Should I run hard flats? I'm going to see what hard flats does. So. Not a very good thing. Big hit. No more hard flats. That's what that's all. Yeah, I couldn't get there. Could not get there. That was not even my responsibility. 
and they end up do scoring, so it's gonna put it 14 to 40. I still don't believe my middle linebacker has anything that we need today. I don't think he has a force run, but I don't think he has a sack. I don't think he has a tackle for loss or any intos. And I believe they're already above 200 passing yards on the day, so. Good catch. I saw that it was Sherman on him as soon as I threw it. I was like, oh, this is not going to end up good. But it actually ended up pretty good for us. There we go. Puts him over 100. Puts 113 on the day with two touchdowns. Very good week. Almost came with the catch. We're going to get a field goal. Doesn't really matter. Um, probably should have ran, but I want to guarantee first down. We get guaranteed points. Going to put it 43 to 14. They're going to have 36 seconds to make know, whatever they want happen. Doesn't really matter. The game is kind of over. A into. I wish that was my middle linebacker that got that. It's going to give us a 50 ball. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have scored because I want to get out this game. Like, really badly. And that is going to do it for the game. So, a very dominant performance by our defense. Offense did also play well. They played... Well, they played well in the second half. They obviously worked more game-managing style in the second half. I mean, first half and the second half, they did well. You almost had them under 200 passing yards, but just couldn't quite get that done. So Jared Goff actually did outplay his opponent in Gardner Minshew. He had 366 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Two interceptions were... A little annoying. I threw one to Landon Collins in the end zone, or near the end zone at least, and threw one to Richard Sherman. Gunnar Minshew did play decent. Um, he was very bad in that first half, though, like very, very bad. Uh, it's not good. Now, Nick Chubb only had 12 <laughs> rushing yards for any right around about eight times. He had a touchdown in there, but that was thanks to his... Uh, Offense, like passing the ball that he got there. But Trey Caldwell had a very good game, 115 yards, two touchdowns. Hopefully, this is the game he gets revealed. And Garner Minshew had negative 28 yards. And those are for sacks. Say he attempted to run one time, which I really don't remember him running the ball, but whatever. But it was a very good game for CD Lamb and Chris Godwin. They both had equally good games, almost identical stats. CD Lamb. Six catches, 122 yards, no touchdowns. Chris Godwin, seven catches, 120 yards, one touchdown. And that's all that really mattered on offense, if we're being honest. So we're going to be moving on to week 12. We're going to be facing the Browns. I don't believe we got the devil up with him. Oh, we did. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's... I don't... Whatever. Uh... <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't... Nah, whatever. Shocking to me. I I was prepared not to get it. But we got it. And we're facing the Browns. They are 5-5. Five and five. We are also 5-5. Five and five. We move up to, like, second in the standings. We're, like, basically two games away from the, the Jets. Because they're losing a few games now. They were 6-0 no, at one point. Now they're 7-3. and three. Uh, we did win a weekly award, Trey Caldwell. No, it was uh, Darius Williams. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I want to check my team, see if Trey Caldwell got revealed yet. And he has superstar development. Let's fucking go. Oh, my God, that's huge. That is so huge. I mean, he looked like a decent running back. Obviously, we need to get that speed up. Speed is at a decent spot, but he just, I don't know. Is that, like... It's getting to that second level for him that he's just not getting to. It might be because our, our line kind of sucks, and once he gets through the hole, he gets grabbed up. That's tough, but um, 
I'm going to find out how to say your name. Next episode, I will find out how to say your name. But might go mid zone KO. I think mid zone KO makes more sense. We'll do that next episode. But um, yeah, this is fucking huge. This team is coming together. We're looking great. All right, um, that's going to do it for us. I think we got to everything. We have uh, a lot of things to look forward to. We got some new superstar development players on the team. Uh, we might even make the playoffs. Who knows? We're 5-5 five and five currently. A lot of teams in the AFC are 5-5, five and five, so going to win out a few games. Uh, we got the Jets coming up in a couple weeks, so there's some huge, huge, huge games, huge divisional games coming up. And, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Peace. And these bitches don't help, they pour salt in my wounds with they asses She think this love and hip hop in Atlanta That's why she always show off for the camera I got her on this pole like she a dancer She said she act like this cause she a cancer She like astrology, sick of her answers On P's and my Q's when I hit I got manners I don't feel special, these hoes don't got standards I don't feel special, these hoes don't got standards